I first thought of banking when I was still at school. I didn't want to go into an office, not an ordinary office. I wanted some variety. I came along to an open evening. That's when they sort of keep the bank open late and they show you around. Hello, my name's John Benson, and I've been travelling around talking to a number of Barclay girls about what it's like to work in the bank, finding out what their jobs are, and how much opportunity there is at Barclays. And I hope I've asked all the questions you'd like to ask yourself. So I thought I'd start at the beginning and ask them what it was like at their interview. I wouldn't have called it an interview. It was far too informal. Anyway, it's certainly nothing to be nervous about. We just chatted about various things. My hobbies, interests, you know, that sort of thing. You felt at ease, you didn't feel sort of strained or anything. You know? The person who interviewed me was extremely kind. They just wrote to me a week or so later saying I'd been accepted. So by now you've got the job, but can you remember how the staff treated you on your first day? Well, I was a bit nervous to begin with. I made a few mistakes. Well, they all said, never mind, it's your first day. They were all really very friendly and they all helped you out. You know, everything was sort of free and happy and they did a lot to, you know, make everything easy for you. They were very good. Oh, first of all, I was a junior and I had to do all the odd jobs, getting out the statements, the filing, answering the telephone. Yes, but you don't want to be a junior all your life. Don't Barclays help you along with your training? Uh, yes, I've been to three courses. I've been to the uh, junior course, the uh, assistant supervisor's course and the supervisor's course. I think I found the supervisor's course the most interesting. The bank pay for all the expenses so that nobody's out of pocket. When I went on my junior course, the instructor we had there was very friendly and... Um, very nice to us. Everybody goes on the junior course and then they select people to go on the assistant supervisors and the supervisors course according to your ability. Well, I'm in a machine room and I'm told all the paperwork from the branch must go through here. But can you tell me exactly what that means? Well, um... All the customers' checks and credits that come over the counter have to be accounted for, so we feed them into these machines. As regards the working conditions, we have a beautiful room, which yeah. is run by a person who she's just the same age as we are, and uh, there are about, what, 15 of us there. And uh, basically we work as a team, yes. I supervise the machine room, which is... You have about four... I've got five people in the machine room and I'm in charge of them. I just make sure that nothing goes wrong, you know, and it all goes through. Well, I'm an assistant supervisor. I did think about counter work, but uh, I didn't really think it was me. I prefer the bookkeeping side, working with figures. The counter's all right for meeting people, but I think working in the machine room, you do get more variety. But the cashier is the person the customer knows best, so let's go and find out what they think about their work. I enjoy working on the counter, meeting all the customers. And, um, you know, you usually have a lot of, lots of chats with the ones I know very well. So everything's fairly routine, then? Oh, it's never a dull moment on the counter. One chap who came and asked me, he put his cheque under the counter and the back was written, how about lunch sometime? You have to keep your wits about you until then, anyway. Most people think of banking as a collection of branches that take money across the counter, but there must be other jobs. Oh, yes, lots. I work in head office. There are lots of jobs there in all sorts of departments. Mm. You can work in one of the 35 local head offices. They're scattered all over England and Wales. Mm. And, of course, there are lots of typing jobs, you know, shorthand, copy, audio. Then there are computers. The bank's developing computer work, and you could be an operator at one of the centres, so you don't have to work in a branch. Yes. Well, all right, let's take just one of those jobs that you mentioned, the secretarial side. Roz, what does your job entail? I'm secretary. 
to what we call the LHO manager. I deal with all his correspondence. He deals mainly with recruiting of staff. So I type up the interview notes, arrange interviews, arrange medicals, send off references, all that kind of thing. I also help with the director's correspondence if they've got a lot to do. And so we get to the all-important question of pay. What about it, Mary? Well, it's much better now because we get paid according to the job we do and not our age. And also we get equal pay with the men. Well, that can't be bad, can it? And if you want more information about salaries, it's in the record sleeve. <laughs> I think Barclays are very good employers, actually, because they really give you a chance. If you work hard, they notice that you're working hard, and, they, and you'll get promotion. And that's why I like working for them. I think they're very good. There's a really very good social life with Barclays. Outside work, we can organise dances, parties. There's quite a lot of clubs, photographic clubs, sports, drama, you name it, it's there. There's a lot more to Barclays than the outsider generally realises. You know, they just see the counter and the cashiers and think that's all there is to it. But of course, a lot more goes on behind the scenes. <laughs> The bank offers so much, really, and do all sorts of things, so you can't get stale. Well, there it is. You've heard Barclay girls talking about Barclays. Now the rest is up to you. If you think you'd like to join them, post the application form. Bye now. <laughs>